just got to show y'all something. Look. What happened? Oh, uh, you no. got You got men back there peeing in buckets, and some got on me. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> I'm walking down, I just pow, pow. I was like, do I look like a coyote? <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm just saying. Wow. <laughs> That's, they got one of them got me. That's a shame. Yeah. You 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 dodged out of the way. At least you got one one leg free. Yeah, but I got fleas now. Uh huh. <laughs> that's hilarious. Now what did you do? No, I'm serious. No. <laughs> What'd you spill on there? No, I have no idea. You know, these have been hanging in in the room uh, from the dry. You know, dry cleaners. They they do stuff to your clothes and don't tell you. That's what exactly what they did to these. Uh huh. I pulled them out of my dressing room. I, I gave them to your staff to uh -huh. uh, to to steam for me, and they were right. like. Uh, Mr. Anderson, I'm, I'm sorry, we didn't do this. Uh -huh. We didn't do it, so I um, believe them. Well, I because sometimes I do that. If I pull a shirt out and there's a, just a stain on it, I act like I just did it on the way over. Right. Yeah. Right. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Oh, look oh, at that. Look at it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and you get about four or five wears out of it that way. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> So tell me about, uh, is, is this based on your family? Did I, did I yeah, read that? Yeah, yeah, it's, ba it's based on my life. It's about 92% accurate. 92%? Yeah, the other is just, eight, the other 8% is just fill filler for uh -huh. TV. Right. But, you know, it's really based on my relationship with my father when I returned home from college. And after I'd been home for a while, he got tired of me just laying around the house. So he made it difficult for uh -huh. me to stay home. Uh -huh. He didn't want to put me out on the street, but he just wanted to teach me a lesson. So... He took all the phone jacks out of the house and put a payphone in the family room. <laughs> no lie. Did he really? God's honest truth. And and then you know he wanted me to work for the family business. Which, you know he own, uh, owned you know a few clothing stores for plus size women because my mom was a big woman. Uh huh. And uh, I didn't want to do that, so I went and got a, a job at the mall. And he saw that as you know he, a slap in the face. So he was like, oh, if you're gonna walk in, work in the mall, you're gonna have to start buying your own food. So I started buying my own food, and he, he realized he couldn't control me that way, so he started putting padlocks on all the refrigerators. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, um... So, so that's where all about the Anderson started yeah. from. My pain, my pain. And now how does he feel about your, your success now? Oh, he, he loves it. He loves it, because, uh -huh. you know, I'm able to pay his bills for him. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But he denies ever doing that. He will, he will cop to the fact that he put a payphone in the family room, but he blames that on my mother. I didn't know you could do that. You can put pay phones in your house? Yeah, well, it's not like the pay phone on the corner. Uh-huh. You know, it, it's the you, beauty shops, you know, they uh -huh. have these little phones that you put quarters in. Oh, I see. And he had a little lock box on the phone jack on the wall. Uh-huh. So I couldn't go in behind him and put my own phone line in. Yeah. And, you know, just hide my phone when he was gone. He's yeah. big on locks, isn't he? He's he is. Got... <laughs> he wow. Is. And, and so, uh, and does he live here? Where does he live? Yeah, he still lives in Los Angeles. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Well, no, you, now that has to be sweet, though, to have this success. And he's got to be proud of it. It is. No, he is. Because you're is. doing really well. I am. You're... I am. I mean, he gets, a, he gets a big kick out of watching John Amos portray him every week on television. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's who you want to portray you. Oh, yeah. That guy's great. Yeah, America's favorite yeah. ghetto daddy. I exactly. <laughs> yeah. We like to call him the adult Kunta Kinte. Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> Right on. Um, we, uh, <laughs> uh, do we have we, someone in, in uh, Philadelphia has a question for Anthony? How about sure. that? Somebody in Philadelphia okay. wants to talk to you. Hi. Yeah. Hi, Ellen. This you is doing? Elsie. Good. Good. Just and here's Anthony talking to you too. Hi, Elsie. Hi, Ellen. Hi, Anthony. How are you? I'm all right. Spit your question out. Okay. Well, Halloween's in two days, so I want to know what scares you. What scares me? Mm-hmm. Uh, going back home to Compton with a roach-infested house. <laughs> that scares me. Yeah. The fires in L.A. scare me right now. I'm, I'm not scared. I'm, I'm, I don't know. I can understand that. The, what am I looking at? I would, but if you were scared, I would take care of you and Ellen. Oh, yeah. oh, at the same time? Yeah. Girl, you a freak. Yeah. You's a freak. Yeah. Philadelphia got some freaks, Ellen. I think you need to move My on grandmother's to watching this. I mean, yeah. ain't, ain't nothing wrong with it. Watching this. Uh, <laughs> well, Elsie, thank you so much for. Yeah. Uh, and, I don't know what that was about. Yeah. <laughs> I'll she, take care of you and Ellen. She. What she mean? I, I, I don't know. I like the fact. I like the soda but yeah. she only got two hands. What's she gonna do with her feet? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> now I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> um, you. First of all, congratulations, you're in Scary Mo Movie 3, which was the number one movie, and it made something like $50 million yeah, or something yeah, ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. And, um, and, 
And this, this looks hilarious, Malibu's Most Wanted, which everyone in the audience is getting a DVD of Anthony's. <laughs>